All right, guys, here we go. Time to begin the Borussia Dortmund career mode series. My first career mode in the Bundesliga of FIFA 21, and I cannot wait to get things underway. Dortmund have had a very weird season. There's no denying it. I mean, in the Champions League, they've done fairly well, very competitive, got knocked out by City, but they still gave them a run for their money. But in the Bundesliga... Things haven't gone down so well as they sit fifth in the league, I think. They're pretty far off as well from a Champions League spot. I mean, we could well be seeing Dortmund in the Europa League next season, which will be shambles for Borussia Dortmund considering they've been a mainstay in the Champions League for the last decade or so. So there are clearly issues at Borussia Dortmund that we need to address here and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this series with the goal being to topple Bayern Munich's dominance and taking Dortmund to being the best team in Germany as well as the best team in Europe. With a great core of players we've got like Haaland, Marco Royce, and Sancho, this shouldn't be that difficult but at the same time, We've got a few challenges, like a few positions definitely need improvements, which we'll of course be making, but it's not going to be so easy because the world economy of football is in tatters right now. We all know so many clubs in debt and we're using the realism mod in this career mode. Because of that, our transfer budget reflects that and we've got just 10 million to start things out. So it's not going to be easy rebuilding Borussia Dortmund and making them the best team in Europe. We're going to have to really be smart and just adjust the transfer budget we've got. Maybe selling a few players to generate funds. It's not going to be so straightforward. This is going to be a challenge. But in all honesty, I'm genuinely excited to try out a new league in FIFA 21 with the Bundesliga. This is going to be an amazing career mode. I can guarantee it. And if you guys are excited as well, I'd really appreciate if you could smash that like button. 5,000 likes and I'll get you an episode tomorrow 100%. Subscribe if you are new around here. And let's get things underway. At this point, you guys know the drill. We're going to be assessing our squad and seeing where we need to make the improvements. Now, we've got an amazing squad and I'm feeling the formation that fits us the best is going to be a classic 4-2-3-1 with the left mid and the right mid. I feel like this just works perfectly fine for us. Of course, the main man of this series is going to be Erling Haaland. There's no denying it. The stats, he's already 89 rated, 87 pace, 91 shooting, the dribbling, the physicality. I'm banking on him maybe scoring 40 plus or even hitting the 50 goal mark this season. Like, I just cannot see how he scores less than 40 for me. He's an absolute machine and if we're going to win the Champions League, you bet it's going to be Haaland firing on all cylinders for us. We've got Marco Royce, a veteran, leading the team. We're not going to get many seasons out of him, but I'm hoping with the few that we get from him, he will be world class because we know the ability he possesses. Thorgan Hazard is in here as well. We've got Jaden Sancho, another player I've got big expectations from. Five-star skills as well. Very creative. Those crosses that he whips in for Haaland, I feel like are going to generate a lot of goals in this series. In midfield, we've got a really solid duo of Emre Chan and Axel Witzel. Really reliable, technically pretty good players as well. You've got Rafael Guerrero at left back, which I'm not really convinced with because... He's more of a left mid, so not too sure about that. Hummels and Akanji as our centre-back duo. Hummels lacking a bit of pace, but Akanji definitely makes up for it with that 84 pace. Thomas Munir at right back again, a position not too convinced with. Berkey in goal again, someone we, we might need to replace. We've got Reynard from Real Madrid on loan, but I'm definitely considering completing this signing on a permanent deal. He could be a great backup for Haaland. We've got Reyna as well, backup for Royce. Jude Bellingham, Delaney again, a couple of good midfielders, especially Bellingham. For the future, this man has got it all. We saw how good he was against Man City in the Champions League. Expect to see him quite, a, quite often in the first 11. We've got Zagadu, Pizek, a veteran and a legend. Hits as well for backup for Berkey. And in the reserves, we've got a few players I'm kind of okay selling. Now, you might be wondering what on earth is Brand doing? Honestly, with Reyna coming through... I just feel like it's better to trust Reyna to be back up, sell Brandt. We're short of cash. We may need to sell players to, you know, improve other areas of the team. I'm thinking the Hood and Brandt, we're going to sacrifice them. But it all depends on what kind of offers we get. But that's the overall outlook of this team. In terms of positions to improve, definitely right back, left back, left mid maybe. But apart from that, I'm loving the look of this team. Now, as I said, with a budget of 10 million, it's going to be really hard to do anything in the first window. But if we sell the right players, you just never know. We might get the opportunities to make some really decent signings. Objectives. Um, even though the board aren't backing us with a big budget, we got to reach the Champions League semis and win the Bundesliga. So 
we have high expectations from the Dortmund board. And in other news, press conferences will be making their return to the Borussia Dortmund career mode series. So get commenting, get your questions in, in the comment section below and I'll be answering them in the next episode. It could be about the series, about certain players, about tactics, formations, transfers, whatever you like, put it down in the comment section. And also, I think it's time we bring back season goals as well for this series because I feel like the sponsors thing was fun, but maybe we take a break from that and get back to the regular season goals and spice things up a bit. So this is basically going to be six objectives decided by you guys that we're going to try and complete over the course of this season. We're going to be giving us a bonus of 5 million for every objective we're able to complete. So these objectives matter and they're all decided by you guys. Well, except this one. This one I've chosen myself. Haaland versus Lewandowski. Score more goals with Haaland in the Bundesliga than Lewandowski. That's going to be a fun challenge to complete. So you get the gist of it. Put your objectives down in the comment section. I'll be picking the rest five in the next episode. And of course, these matter, especially with how the funds are in this series. Completing these objectives will give us a fair share of cash for next season. Pretty sure at this point, everybody knows that you gotta do the training drills at the start of career mode because if you don't, you're literally sabotaging yourself in terms of player growth and sharpness. So we're getting these training drills done. Hopefully I'll get A's on all of them. I think I should. Not a bad start, guys. A's in all of the training drills. You'll love to see it. You guys in the comments section do often get annoyed that I don't put the development plans or I don't show you guys putting the development plans on my players. So from the get-go, we're putting development plans on the superstars of this team. So I'm thinking for Sancho, getting those attacking stats up is going to be absolutely vital. But I'm, I'm not sure which to actually improve. Inverted wide midfielder seems like a lot of sense because... Sprint speed goes up, weak foot goes up, and finishing. So we'll do that for Sancho. I think Jude Bellingham is going to be a cult hero for us in this series. I just feel like he's going to be simply sensational. For now, though, I feel like a balanced plan just seems fine for a player like him. So we'll keep it at that. I think I've been pronouncing this guy's name wrong for the entire episode. It's Renier, I think. But anyways, he's currently on loan at Dortmund. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Do we put a development plan and get his value up or not? I think we regardless should. We gotta get um, those shooting stats up massively. And I think balance does the best for him. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, balance seems perfect. It boosts all his stats evenly. Guys, you guys need to let me know in the comment section. We can approach to buy him right now for a pretty cheap price. And have him permanently. I feel like that's the play with him. Because having a backup for Haaland. We don't need a high rated striker. Someone like Renier would do just fine. So... He could be one of our first signings of this series, you know, making him a permanent transfer. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. Guys, some very controversial decisions are about to be made in this series. I've transfer listed Rafael Guerrero. Now, I know this may sound crazy, but he just doesn't fit the way I'm looking to play. I looked at his stats. He doesn't really have good stats to play as like a left midfielder in terms of pace. And overall... At left back, he gets way too many downgrades. Now, I tried to convert him to a left back, but that's just not going to happen. It takes like 140 weeks to do it. Well, that's career mode for you. So, unfortunately, selling him seems to be the only option. Players like Brandt, a lot of talent, but I just don't know how I'm going to fit him into our setup with Royce, Reina, all playing in the same position. Dahoud as well, I feel like we can definitely offload him. Good talent, but I think we've got better players. That's the problem with Borussia Dortmund, man. So much talent here that we're going to have to sacrifice some really key players. But I feel like with the money we can generate from all this, overall, we can improve our team a lot more. So that's my thinking. A bit risky, a bit... I don't even know. Does it make sense to do this? I'm not so sure. Only time will tell. We'll see. Okay, so we've got some incoming transfer and loan offers. So we've got a loan offer for Ansgar Knopf. I don't think he's going to be useful this season. So... I think loaning him out just makes a lot of sense and that's exactly what we're doing. An offer for Schmelzer though, that is interesting. I'm okay with selling him guys. He's 32, 74 rated. I know he's a hero here, but it's time to say goodbye, man. I feel like, yeah, I could use the cash right now with the situation. Okay, so we get our first bit of key business as an offer comes from Real Madrid for Rafael Guerrero. 52.3 million, that is big, but I reckon... We can pull a lot more money for him. So, 
we're gonna negotiate and just see what Real Madrid think. Okay, now, this is gonna be fun. We're negotiating with Zidane. We need to generate as much cash as possible from this because I want to sign a quality left back and also a right back. So, getting a lot of money for this is gonna be vital. So, I'm thinking we counter with 65 million just to see what Real Madrid think. Maybe it's a bit low. I'm not too sure. They're, not, they're only willing to pay 52.3. That's it. That's also why it's going to be difficult selling players. Other clubs don't have as much money as they normally would. It's going to be tough, but let's let's say, what about 50, 57 Real Madrid? Come on, Zidane. Work with me here. 57 mil. 52.3. Uh, let's, let's go 55. All right. Just give me that extra bit of cash, man. 55 million. Everything counts now. Oh, God. I've messed it up. That's how difficult it is going to be selling players even. Ooh, that, that was brutal from Zidane. Just walked out. Pretty good offer coming from Ren for Paslak. 7 million. At this point, I'll take every bit of money I can get. He doesn't have the best of potential. So, I feel like 7 million is a good deal. I don't want to mess this up like I did with the previous uh, transfer. So, we'll accept offer and I'll take the cash. We may have enough cash to sign our first player in this series. And I've got a pretty good idea who I want to bring in. I saw some of your suggestions earlier on. And I think I know a player that I think you guys would really appreciate being at Borussia Dortmund. And that's Youssef Atal. I've already scouted him. And he just seems like the perfect player to play for Borussia Dortmund. Great stats. Attacking fullback for us he would be. Good potential as well I reckon. I think with dynamic potential we could see him at a pretty high rating. Definitely an upgrade over Thomas Munir. Now he's just slightly out of our budget. But I'm thinking if we can figure out a swap deal. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna try and put Thomas Munir in this deal, like for like, basically. And I'll be offering about 15 million as well. I feel like it's a very fair offer, guys. 15 million plus Thomas Munir. Let's see what they're saying. These these guys want Jude Bellingham. They know what's up, but uh, I'm not having it, guys. I'm not having it. Jude Bellingham, no freaking way, dude. No freaking way. Is there anyone else I can offer? Maybe Dahoud, but then I, I don't want to put any money, dude. I'm confused now. We put Dahoud, I guess, in the deal and we'll just offer 5 million. Okay, we'll do that and see. Okay, a player I don't really want and Dahoud. So mm, I'm not so sure what they're going to say. They don't even want Dahoud now. 31 million works. We're going to have to wait a bit until we can get more cash to sign Atal. But yeah, it's so difficult, man, with the current finances with our team i'm pretty sure this is the first time in any of my career modes i'm going into the first game of the season without actually having made any signings now that's the first but anyways i really shouldn't have messed up that guerrero sale i'm such an idiot but anyways we've got the german super cup against bayern and for some reason it's being played at the allianz arena that's what i'm saying man the the german league is rigged for bayern munich like what is what is this it should be played at a neutral ground maybe it's some rule that the league winners play at their home ground but that's stupid man anyways we're playing them at, uh, at allianz arena bayern munich with Lewandowski, muller nabri sane koretska kimmich uh, <laughs> what even is this team man bayern munich are so so good toliso at center back okay 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 what's going on there i'm not so sure Sula at right back. EA has lost it. EA has absolutely lost it. Anyways, on the pitch, let's see what's up. And here we go. German Super Cup. It's Bayern Munich versus Borussia Dortmund. You know what, guys? Maybe playing a game before actually making any signings would give us a very good idea where we need to make improvements. So it might be a good thing. That's what we're playing for, guys. Getting silverware in the first episode, I think, would be a good omen. So let's try and push for that i think if we're gonna win this it's gonna be a haaland goal fest and i'm really hoping he steps up here haaland versus Lewandowski. there's already an objective between the two of them it doesn't apply for this game because it's not the bundesliga but still i reckon the two of them will definitely want to fight it out here with sil now it's Torgan hazard is he on i'm not too sure i think he is crossing for haaland he couldn't get there the touch toliso with a clearance i don't know why toliso is playing center back must be some tactic Hansi Flick is cooking up, but yeah, that was close, man. Haaland could have maybe got a leg to it. Joshua Kimmich, that's very good. Emre Chan now playing this one for Marco Royce on the breakaways, I think, where we can really cause damage for teams as Sancho looks to bring it inwards. Still Jaden Sancho, cleverly done to find Thomas Munir, a player we've been talking about selling as he looks for the cross for Haaland. 
Alaba gets it away. It wasn't the best delivery. I'm trying maybe too hard to play in the perfect ball for Haaland. Maybe I just need it to flow naturally. Oh, Sancho with a very neat touch there as he looks for Haaland. Need a bit of support here. Sancho providing that support. Still Sancho, no Alaba with the last ditch tackle as he gets it away. We're getting towards the final third of Bayern Munich, but then we're kind of messing things up as now Bayern are on the breakaway with Leroy Sané, and this is dangerous because if that cross comes in for Lewandowski, we could be in a lot of problems, but Hummels with a good challenge. Don't know what Sané did there. He really messed things up. Set piece for Bayern with players like Lewandowski in the box. This could be problem. Muller controls that well. That could have maybe been a penalty. Thankfully not. Sané again. Looks for Muller. Back for Sané. Back for Thomas Muller. Could shoot. We can't let him shoot, guys. We know he's got a good shot. Muller looks for, I think, Kimmich. They still have a chance. Bayern Munich now. Emre Chan finally with the tackle or interception, I should say. Emre Chan opening up a bit of space and striking from distance. Neuer collects. I just thought, you know what? Bit of open space, let's just go for it. But Manuel Neuer isn't getting beaten by that. Axel Witzel. Oh, Haaland's made a good run. Haaland, I think he's on. Haaland left foot strikes it. But the defender, well, in deception. As you guys can see, my manager just got a Dortmund hoodie on. Looks pretty good. Half time, barely any clear cut chances for either team. It's been a weird one. I mean, this, I think, is looking very likely going to penalties. And I do not want that. So let's see what's up. Muller, Lewandowski now. He could have maybe played that pass for Muller. No, he goes all the way. Robert Lewandowski. Had to be him. Had to be him. Against his former team as well. Robert Lewandowski makes it 1-0 against Dortmund. Expect to see this happen a lot in this series. I mean, to be fair, we can't expect in the first episode itself to try and dominate Bayern Munich. That's not going to happen. It's going to be a process, but still hurts, man, to concede to Lewandowski. 1-0 Bayern. We're not going to give up. 40 minutes left in this game. We're going to give it everything. It is a set-piece opportunity for Bayern Munich with Nabri to put this one in. We should get this away. We do. Goretzka gets it, though. This is not good. Emre Chan. No, what's happening here? Still Goretzka. We finally get the ball. But man, was that chaotic. As I don't know what we're doing. We don't even get it away properly. Kimmich now looks for Lewandowski. And it's 2-0 Bayern. Oh, my God. Ah, the worst possible start to this one. She, she even shushes us, man. Ah, Lewandowski 2-0. Ah, problems now for us. Problems. Maybe a bit of creativity in the midfield could help us out. Jude Bellingham to come on for the remainder of this game. Who else maybe I think we can bring on? Maybe we could bring on Reina and play him on the left. No, I, th I don't think that makes sense. We'll just run with this and see what we can do. Marco Royce. I need that run from Haaland. I need the run from Haaland. Okay, Thorgan Hazard gets it. That was for Haaland though. I don't know why it went to him and now I don't think I can do anything with it. Royce gets it. Jude Bellingham now. Haaland. Out wide for Sancho. This is big. Sancho with a chance. Drives his shot straight towards Neuer. First opportunity. We had to score that. Chopper Morting looking now for Kingsley Coman. This is painful. If this is what's going to happen in this series, oh my god, we're in for a big, painful ride. Bayern make it 3-0 against Dortmund. What a reality check to start off this series. And for those of you guys who thought, this is going to be easy, well, evidently not. We're getting ripped apart by Bayern here in the German Super Cup. Wow. Fair play. Fair play is all I can say. They beat us fair and square. They dominated us. Hansi flicks Bayern with Lewandowski. That's what they can do, man. That is what they can do. Harsh reality check for us to start off the series, but I guess we needed it. We needed it. Thomas Muller's probably going to lift the trophy for them. Fair play. That's all I can say. 32 million is what they're offering for Mahmoud Dahoud, a player that's ours. Bayern Munich, even in this series, want to sign Dortmund players. Now, we're forced to negotiate because I need to sell the players I want to sell. If I don't do that, I'm not signing Atal. I'm not signing anyone. So, we're going to have to negotiate, guys, sadly. And hopefully we can at least get a good deal on the hood. I'm not going to ask for an astronomical sum of money. I'm going to ask for like 36 mil. If you give me that, perfect. If not, I'll still accept it. So let's see what Hansi Flicks think of, thinks about this one. He's willing to play with 36 million. Better. Hopefully this deal can go through soon. And we can, of course, bring in the players we want to bring in. And there you have it. Dahoud has been sold for 36 million. We're looking at an additional 30 million added to our transfer budget. Hopefully, with that money, we can now sign Atal. So, I'm not going to waste any time. I want to get this transfer done. But I think I'll have to wait a bit to make this happen. So, 
we might have to get through another game because the first deal didn't really work out. There's another problem we're gonna have to deal with. Oh god. You know what guys, then we'll just get started with the Bundesliga season. We've got the first game of the season and it's a big one against Borussia Mönchengladbach. We'll be playing this one and I want to get back to winning ways. That German Super Cup game was brutal, man. We can't let that happen to us again. We need to start off the Bundesliga season with a win. We're playing at the Signal Iduna Park. Let's get it done. A few changes have been made to the team for fitness reasons. Zagadu comes in for Hummels. Sancho, I'm still starting even though he's low on stamina. Jude Bellingham starts this one. The Gladbach team is very good. You know, Zakaria's class. They've got Stindl. This is not going to be an easy game, but we need to win, man. We need to win. Simple as that. Here we go, Marco Royce sees Haaland. We could be seeing his first goal in a Dortmund shirt this season. Haaland bangs our first goal in this series. How about that, guys? It was a terrible performance from everyone against Bayern Munich, but now we've started off our Bundesliga campaign in the best way possible. Haaland scoring, Royce assisting, you couldn't have it any better. I was kind of unsure which foot to shoot with with Haaland, but I just pressed the shoot button and I'm glad it worked out. Haaland with his right foot, Starts off the season strong, 1-0 against Gladbach, just the start we needed after an embarrassing defeat. Looking for the passing options, now it's Sancho in a bit of space. Could look for the cutback for Marco Royce. it should be a simple goal. It is a simple goal, 25th minute, it's Marco Royce who scores our second of the game. That is more like the Borussia Dortmund we know. Sancho with the assist, Royce with the goal so far. Marco Royce has been spectacular, he's scored and he's assisted. Maybe it's going to be a big season from him in this one. Sancho with really good awareness there to find Royce. And it was a simple finish from the German sniper as we make it 2-0 against Gladbach. Just what we needed. Hala now attacking from a different side as he looks to feed this one for Togen Hazard. Back for Sancho. Sancho scores. Is it offside? I don't think it is. I don't know how we're doing it in this one. Where was this Dortmund in the previous game? Like, come on. I don't know where, where that Dortmund was, but in this one, we're just completely dominating the football we're playing. It's just superb. Look at that pass from Haaland to Thorgan Hazard. Simple cutback for Sancho. He joins the party as well. I think Royce, Haaland and Sancho have all scored in this game. Things you do love to see. Chance for Gladbach. Zakaria breaking through. Our keeper legit doesn't make a single save. Berkey, man, what on earth are you doing? How do you let Zakaria score on his weaker left foot from there? No idea, but Gladbach get a goal back before halftime. Jude Bellingham driving the ball forward. Haven't seen much from him in this game, but that's a very smart release for Marco Royce. Go on, Royce. 1v1 now. Could square this one and set it up for Haaland. That's, that's, that's just simple. That's so sweaty for me to try and get Haaland to score. But hey, we're competing with Lewandowski for the golden boot. I'm going to take every chance I get with Haaland to score. Royce, though, gets credited with the assist and Haaland... Yet another goal for the Norwegian beast. Might be time to get a few subs in. I'm thinking we bring on Reina for Marco Royce. And um, I'm very tempted to bring on Delaney for which. So let's do that as well. And I think that's it for now. Now it's Reina looking for Sancho. Cross coming in for Haaland on a hat trick. How is the keeper saved that? That was the Haaland hat trick. How? We need a replay on that. The cross is perfect. Haaland on the volley catches it fairly well. A flailing arm saves that. I have no idea how that's even possible. Thomas Delaney looks for Haaland, who's now breaking through for his hat-trick. Here he goes. The pace is unstoppable. Erling Haaland, 1v1. This time, the keeper can't stop him. It's not been a particularly insane performance from Haaland, but he still bags the hat-trick. That's how good he is. Borussia Dortmund, 5-1 against Gladbach. That's more of, you know, what I'm expecting from this Dortmund team rather than what we showed against Bayern Munich. A big goal there from Haaland because it's the hat-trick goal. Puts him top scorer in the Bundesliga unless Lewandowski has just gone and scored four or five. But yeah, good start for Haaland to the Bundesliga. And that means we can give Renier a few minutes up top. Uh-oh, that's not good. Keeping from me and defending as well. I shouldn't have called out Berkey so much. Gladbach get another consolation goal. And that's full time. What a start to our Bundesliga season. Goal scoring wise, we were just insane. Haaland taking home the match ball. Perfect start to his Bundesliga season, man. Finally, by the looks of things, we can actually move in for the transfer of Youssef Atal to Borussia Dortmund. So let's go ahead and make this happen. He's one of, you know, ultimate team's favorites uh, in FIFA this year. And I know even in career mode, he's going to be OP because of the raw pace and the weak foot he's got. He's got a five-star weak foot. That's going to be so versatile for us. So 
I'm going to start off with 25 million for Youssef Atal and just see what they're looking at. 25 million, 31.7 is what they want. Okay, let's let's bring it down a tad bit to maybe 28 million. Okay, let's just keep negotiating as much as we can for Atal. 28 million, what are they going to say? 31.7, okay. What about 30 million? Flat, 30 million flat for Youssef Atal, come on. And that works, that's much better. Now we negotiate the contract. So these are Youssef Atal's demands and I can't really complain. 50,000 per week, about 440,000 in the signing bonus. The wages seem fine. Rotation squad role is going to be first choice for me to be fair. I think we work with this. There you go. We've made our first signing in this Dortmund career mode and it's been difficult pulling this off. But we finally got our man and we still have cash to uh, spend which we'll be putting to good use in the next episode hopefully but happy with this signing. I'm straight away putting Youssef Atal on a defensive plan to get those defensive stats up. We're looking at about 40 million to spend which we're definitely going to put to good use in the next episode. We've got maybe a few players if we can sell it'll be nice but as you guys have seen the situation in football right now offers aren't coming in all that much so we're gonna have to be careful. Next episode we either improve our left back spot goalkeeper maybe with the money we've got it's big decisions to be made in the next one you guys can get involved as well leave your comments and let me know for now though player of the episode i think it's evident it's between haland and royce but honestly i'm gearing towards royce because haland's hat trick was a bit scrappy this time around royce i thought was just superb so let me know in the comment section you think deserves to win player of the episode with that guys this is where we're wrapping up today's episode of the borussia dortmund career mode series it's been a very good start to this series challenging the german super cup was painful but we bounced back and won big in the bundesliga so that is awesome major signing made in atal as well and we'll keep things flowing in the next episode as well if you enjoyed the start of this series drop a like i said 5000 likes and i'll get you an episode tomorrow subscribe if you're new around here i'll catch you all next time